Craig Shields, I'm the curriculum leader for sport. I teach on a range of courses, uh, mostly level three from sports science to A-level to foundation degree. Uh, name's uh, Sean Nicholson, I'm a lecturer on the uh, sports courses. They've all got specialised timetables in the sports department that catered for both the academic and the practical side. Um, so, for example, if on a morning they have academic studies between 9 and 11, and they'll have a break and um, have another um, academic class till 12 and then they'll train on the afternoon. What we've got here is a, is a really excellent range of facilities. Uh, we have uh, a big double sports hall which we use for various teaching sessions and obviously the, the basketball, football, five-a-side, all you can basically think of within that. Um, we've got I think it's at least four uh, full-size uh, outdoor pitches which are really well maintained, really well looked after. My name is Jamal George and I'm on a BND Exercise and Fitness. In our lessons we do stuff like psychology, stuff about nutrition, like how athletes perform and stuff like that. When I finish this course I want to go to university and hopefully study something in sports, uh, maybe sports psychology. Day to day they're doing, always doing a mixture of both their academic studies and the practical sport that they choose, whether it be football, boxing or rugby, any of our academies here. My name is Lewis Hatcher and the course I am on is BND Sport Coaching and Fitness. Things we do are coaching, um, learning different skills, techniques in the diff various different sports. We're very lucky to have some, uh, some fantastic lecturers, so the level of teaching is very high. Um, last year, our observation team, everybody was at least at good or better for the teaching observation, um, with some outstanding teaching there as well. My name is Lauren Watt and I'm doing BTEC Sports Science. On the Sports Science course, we do practicals. It's, it's mostly work-based, but we do assignments and uh, topics which we do in the course are sports psychology, um, skill acquisition, anatomy, um, practical team sports. Once they finish the course, um, if you're talking to the level three students and they finish the sports science, uh, BTEC nationals and things like that, uh, they can then go on to do the foundation degree, which we run here as well, um, which is also two years, and they can then progress to Southern University to top up there to get a full degree. Uh, they can also, if they want to leave at the end of level three, they can just go on and do a degree somewhere else as well. Um, obviously there's you know, other ways in employment so they can work in leisure centres and become coaches because obviously we run that type of programme uh, and other, other avenues of like, management within, within sport as well they can, uh, they can sort of get, get into. Enrolling in a course at the college have also got the um, added advantage of having uh, full use of our brand new gym facility. Um, we've got a fitness suite consisting of both um, weights, uh, machines and also a cardiovascular suite. Um, all of the equipment is brand new and state of the art. My name is Wayne Cottrell uh, and I'm in charge of outdoor education. They take part in outdoor activities such as rock climbing, kayaking, mountain biking, but they'd also be doing fitness because it's part of the sports course, sports injuries, um, also they'd be going on camps as well. The opportunities are quite varied. Um, they can either go into the forces because a lot of the outdoor education courses are linked with public services, but also they be qualified to actually go and work in the industry in outdoor centres or for sports um, programmes such as Go Active um, or even private companies such as Ski Adventure or something like that. I'm a qualified kayaking instructor, mountain leader, rock climbing instructor. Uh, also, we do other things such as Beach Lifeguard, Pro Lifeguard. We do a lot of water activities. We do some other enrichment programmes like uh, scuba diving, um, orienteering. The facilities here are excellent. Um, we've got top of the range gym, top of the range uh, sports facilities. We've also got a site at Hoffel College, which is the Agricultural College, and that provides us with a base for uh, doing orienteering. Plus, it's got a full forest to do any camping skills that we need to do and a mountain bike track. At the moment, the split of uh, females to males is about 60-40. We have a good selection of females of various ages, all who really enjoy outdoor education, but they've also got links to the cadets, and they all want to go into forces or actually get involved in the industry. Thank you.